Hi, my name is Kathy Moyne and we're here at Green Thumb Nursery in Lake Forest, California to talk about planting some summer lettuce. So a lot of us have patios, me included, and think, ah, I can't really grow anything in my backyard that I can eat, but that is wrong. You certainly can. And one of the things that I like to have is a window box with some lettuce. So we carry lettuce year round and um, it does a little bit better in the winter time when it's cooler but you can still grow lettuce in the summertime as long as you keep it out of the full hot sun um, morning sun or late afternoon sun or just a bright filtered light it has to be pretty bright for it it doesn't want to be in the shade but if you've got a bright area in your yard that you can you you can put a little window box and usually i try to put it in i like to put it in a box about like this so it doesn't take up very much space and it will it will give you a good amount of lettuce now my husband and i i like to have summer um, salads in the summer because it's hot when it's hot so this i have two of these window boxes and those two window boxes give us plenty of lettuce to have salads with so let me get some room here so I know that you too can have some success with growing lettuce in your on your patio. So what we're going to do, then usually these come with a little tab, so I took that out. And so we want drainage, we want to make sure it drains. And then I like to put a little bit of screen material, I don't know if you can see that, but it's um, a fiberglass screen, just a little piece over the hole to keep the dirt in and the bugs out. And then we're going, today we're going to use the EV Stone. Edna's Best Potting Soil. So you can use any potting soil, as long as it's a potting soil, in your container. But we're going to use Edna's Best today because it's the best. Alright, so now I'm going to put some soil in there. Get my pruner here and open the bag. And we're just going to fill it up. Let me get this out of the way so I can pour this right in. We're going to fill it up. This is a pretty quick plant. I'm going to leave myself enough room for the root balls. Okay, firm this down. And you want to leave yourself about an inch worth of uh, watering space, I guess you'd call it, uh, from the top of the soil to the top of your pot. Give yourself um, about an inch and that way when you water you can flood it well and then because if you put it too close the water just flows off the top and it doesn't really get a chance to soak in so there we are just a, just a just a little bit down from the top and then we're going to add some items in here to help these guys grow they don't need a whole lot because really you're not you're going to mine lasts about three to six months depending upon how much I'm harvesting them and they'll actually grow like a long vine so I actually have my boxes up on five gallon buckets I just turn the buckets upside down stick them up on that you could turn a pot upside down and do it that way either way I like to kind of get it off the ground keeps the bugs out and it allows for them to kind of grow because they grow like a vine after a while they start to vine off and and you just take the old leaves and keep the other stuff going so it just keeps on going so one of the things I like to add to all my stuff is Langban or Azimite, and this is a mineral that they mine in Utah from an ancient seabed. And this has a lot of great things in it. There's not a fertilizer, but it's a remineralizer. So for something this size, I'll put about a handful in here. So I'm just going to liberally spread that across the top, and then I'm going to put a little bit of feather meal. Now what, what's the, the cool thing about feather meal is it's just nitrogen because we're, we're just going to be harvesting the leaves. We don't, lettuce will grow and flower and bolt is what we call it. And once it flowers, it's not any good. So it, it, as it grows like that vine, eventually if it could go straight up, they can get about this tall and then they'll have a flower up at the top. Once it flowers, the lettuce becomes bitter. So you don't want to let it flower, but once it does, I mean, it just goes for so long and you, you just can't, it's just, it's going to do it. 
So and that's when you know, okay, time to pull it out. We usually sell lettuce year round so that you can come back down, get you another, yourself another six pack and replant it. And I don't even replace the soil. I might put a little more fertilizer in there, but I just yank them out of the soil because their roots are not that big. I just yank them right back out of the soil and plant the new ones in there and go for another round. I can usually get about two, three rounds um, before I need to replace the soil. And then you just replace the soil and start all over again. So you can actually have perpetual lettuce in your yard year round. So, although, you know, for me, I, and lettuce, I don't, I don't do a lot of salads in the wintertime because it's cold. But <laughs> you never know, you might, but on sandwiches, these leaves will get big enough to grow on, to, to, you know, pull off and put on your sandwiches. So now I'm going to do, this is bone meal, it's just 12% nit uh, fe uh, nitrogen. So I'm going to do, mm, just lightly sprinkle some fertilizer over the top. I'd say this is probably maybe a tablespoon's worth that I'm doing right here. I don't want to overdo it. But what's nice about feather meal is it's a slow release nitrogen. Nitrogen, if you remember, is the one that makes things green and grow. So lettuce is green and we want it to grow. The more it grows, the more lettuce leaves we get. Yay, yay, yay. So, and what's nice about the feather meal is it's a slow release. So it doesn't release right away. So it'll actually last in here while my lettuce is lasting. And then, like I said, when you re replant it, you can put just a little bit more in there, but not necessary. And I'm also going to throw in some Epsom salts. Let me open the bag so we can see the actual name of it. I've got it kind of uh, covered over here. Okay, there we go. And this is going to be Epsom salt. This is just regular Epsom salts that you have for your bath. Um, just don't want any perfume in it. Um, but you can get it. We sell it here, but you can also get it at your pharmacy. And I'm going to do eh, maybe a teaspoon in here. I'm not going to overdo it. I just want a little bit. What this does is add magnesium, which helps the leaves to be a little bit firmer. And it helps them to have a little bit better flavor. So now I'm just going to kind of mix this in under the top right here. And then if I were not wanting to make a mess, I would go ahead and water this in. I would just water it real well so it's all firmed down, but I don't want to make a big mess, so I'll do that later. So what I'm using, this is a butter crunch lettuce, which gives you leaves. Now we also sell romaine for those of you who like romaine. And you can put your, you can actually plant your romaines pretty close to each other because they grow upright. These are going to get fat and kind of hang over the edge. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put a fair amount in here because I want them to be full. So I'm probably going to stagger them about like so. And we're just going to loosen the roots a little bit and stick them down into this soil real quick. Now lettuce likes, like I said, it, it wants to be a little more on the moist side. And I like it, and again, it morning sun or late afternoon sun, morning sun before 10, late afternoon sun after four, or just a real bright filtered light. Now I know these look like they're gonna be close together, but they're gonna hang over the edge. So that'll give them more room. But when we're done here, it'll just look like a big salad bowl. So, And when you harvest these, and you can actually, I've harvested them fairly young, because all you're doing is taking off the outer leaves. And you're leaving the center where it is. So that it'll keep growing. All right, so these are a little more. All right, so in this bowl, or window box, I should say. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight little plantlets. So this should give me actually a pretty good harvest. And then I'm going to top dress this with the Malibu compost. And what this is gonna do is gonna help to hold the moisture in. It is going to 
encourage the microorganisms that are in the soil. The microorganisms are what helps the plants to uptake the fertilizer that we put in there. And I did use that one that I used as an organic fertilizer, organic soil. And this Malibu compost is also organic. And so now I'm going to have organic lettuce that I know where it came from, how it was grown, and really I don't, there, you do have to kind of look out for caterpillars because they will get on here and there are some things you can spray, but usually you're harvesting it fast enough that the caterpillars really don't get a chance to get going, so you want to make sure too that you're washing your leaves before you eat them. And there you go. Now we're planted up and we've got the Malibu compost on the top got the fertilizer in there and then all you have to do now when you harvest these just take the leaf off in the base now I like to get rid of this stem here because that can be kind of bitter yum so there you go lettuce in the summer thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please click the like if you're not subscribed Click, click the subscription button and the bell to let us let you know when you're having more we have more videos and enjoy your summer lettuce thank you have a great day